Office FX. Hello there, this is Xiao, and welcome to the 13th episode of my 17-part series on getting a great vocal sound. This series is a crash course on best practices you need to know to get good results in a home recording environment, from performance to recording to mixing. Last time, I showed you how to prepare your project and your vocal recordings for mixing. If you haven't already seen this video, go check it out. Today's tutorial is all about levels and panning, and how they relate to vocals. So let's get started. Levels. Level balancing is the process of going through all the different instruments and vocal tracks in your mix, and making sure they're each set at the right volume. It's the most fundamental part of the mix mixing process, as well as the most important. This balance can make or break your mix, and it can cause you to use your other mixing effects improperly if it's not correct. So how do you level balance a mix? This comes down to two main goals. The first goal is to make sure every instrument is loud enough to be heard in the mix without overpowering any of the other instruments. The second is creating a balance between the different instruments, so that they feel like they belong together. For a more detailed explanation, I've put a link in the description to a video from Beat School, which which provides much more detail about how to balance an entire mix. But if all you need are some pointers on where to put your vocals in your mix, stick around and I'll show you what to do. So here we have our instrumental mix, already level balanced and ready to go. But what about the vocal? We have it right here. There are three main volume levels that your vocal can be at in your song. Which one you choose depends on the genre of music you're working with, and the general feel you're going for. So your first option is to set your vocal very loud in the mix. These are toppings, our pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. My favorite pizza toppings are pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. Obviously, it's not so loud that it overpowers the rest of the instruments, but it's loud enough to sit on top of them. This kind of upfront volume level is great for pop music or genres where the singer is the focal point of the song. Your next option is to put it at a medium level. My favorite pizza toppings are pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. My favorite. This level is more common for genres like rock and metal, where you want to emphasize the overall power of the instruments rather than having the vocalist dominate the mix. Your third option is to have your vocalist be very quiet. My favorite. While this is less common, there are some genres where the vocal is so quiet that you can barely understand what they're saying, so that the vocal is more felt rather than heard. This is also good for the quieter parts of a very dynamic song. So for this mix, I think the loud level is the most appropriate. My favorite pizza toppings are pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. My favorite pizza toppings. Ultimately, these level options are just guidelines. Listen to your mix and set the vocal volume based on what sounds best for your project. Panning. An instrument's pan position is where an instrument or vocal falls in the stereo space. But what's stereo? If you haven't already noticed, most computer speaker systems and headphones have two speakers, left and right. A while back, audio engineers figured out that if you play a sound louder in one speaker than the other, it makes it seem like the sound is coming from that direction. By changing the balance of left speaker sound to right speaker sound for each instrument, that is, its pan position, an engineer can move instruments to the left or right, thus creating a stereo mix. To put it simply, a stereo sound is one where the audio from the left speaker is different from that of the right speaker. Now if you've seen my basic vocal recording and mixing series, you may have heard me talk about mono as well as stereo. A mono sound is one where the audio coming out of the left and right speakers is exactly the same, which makes it sound like it's coming from between the two speakers. Most recorded instruments are mono sounds, including vocals. Panning is important for two 
two main reasons. First, it lets you put each instrument in its own spot in the stereo space, so that they're not getting in each other's way. Second, it makes your mix wider, which sounds really cool. So how do you pan your instruments? Again, the goal is balance. If you pan too many instruments to the left or right, it makes your mix feel lopsided. Likewise, if you pan some instruments too far out to the sides, it makes the mix feel disconnected and empty. But as a general rule, most instruments can benefit from at least a little panning. Don't be afraid to get creative and experiment. However, there are some key exceptions. To illustrate my point, let's play a game. To play, you'll need to put on your headphones if you're not already wearing them. Go ahead. I'll wait. Got your headphones on? Okay, so this game is called Tilt! My favorite pizza toppings are pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. My favorite pizza... Okay, enough of that. So why did the mix feel super lopsided? Because I panned the kick drum, the snare drum, the bass, and you guessed it, the lead vocal. As I said, most instruments benefit from at least a little panning. These four, however, do not. They'll mess up your stereo balance if you pan them, so you need to keep them in the center. Now, if you have vocal harmonies or a multi-tracked vocal, there are some extra things to consider when it comes to panning. But if you just got a single lead vocal track like we do here, then the rule of panning is don't. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover here. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want more information or have any questions about levels and panning, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And if you'd like to request a Vox FX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. In the next tutorial, I'll be talking about equalizers and how to use them to clean up your vocal sound. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. Vox FX. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.